we go. Yes, thank you. Yes, please. <clears throat> How are you doing tonight? I've been better. It's been a rough week. Sorry to hear that. Want to talk about it? I don't think so. It's nothing, really. All right. Well, let me know if you change your mind. I've been told I'm a good listener, and I like to believe it's true. I'm sure you are. I don't doubt it. You have kind eyes. You're my fatal type. Plus, you know, it can be easier to talk to strangers sometimes. I mean, look at me. I talk to strangers all day, and I am a poster child of mental health. <laughs> Obviously. I can see that. I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to pry. Not at all. I don't mind. It's just that... I mean, well... It, it's just that I got the sense that you might need to unload a little bit, and uh, I'm happy to help if I can. It's part of the job. There's a test and everything. <laughs> I already have a psychiatrist. Bartender as therapist. Yeah, but I'm a hell of a lot cheaper. Well, I'll drink to that. I suppose that depends on how much I put away tonight. <laughs> Come on, tell me about it. What's on your mind? It's just a bad anniversary. The usual, a breakup. We've all got those. Uh, I'm sure we do, but... Not like this one, but... But wait, are you flirting with me? Do you have ulterior motives here? It's a long shift. Talking helps the time go by. If it helps to lighten your load, then bonus. And a stranger's number. And a bigger tip. Oh, you went there, not me. <laughs> Touche. Guilty as charged. Don't mind me. Just let me know if you need anything. I mean... He was just... He was just absolutely... Perfect. Perfect! Yeah? Tell me about him. His eyes. His hair. His smile. His laugh. His grip. Jesus, when he would wrap his hand around my pinky finger. <laughs> his voice. God, a baritone that just melted me. He sounds wonderful. He was breaks my heart. He was until he broke my heart. I should have noticed sooner. I should have seen it coming. Maybe you didn't want to see it? That's true. I didn't. Of course not. Who would? Why would I? He just never grew. We simply grew apart. How so? Failure to thrive? They called it? We failed to connect, he said. He... He... Withered. Wandered. I'm sorry to hear that. I remember the silence. I remember hearing sounds. And finding him so still in his crib. And finding him with someone else in our bed. I knew it was coming. I never saw it coming. But you can't prepare for something like that. So I wasn't prepared for that. No, of course not. He was so cold when I lifted him up. He was so cold when I confronted him about it. The time stood still. It's, it's like everything froze. I held his precious little body next to mine and I rocked him and I sang him lullabies and I told him, all the things I had wished for him, his first words, his first steps, his first bike, Cub Scouts, Little League, everything. And I slow danced with my little boy for hours until the sun came up and my husband found us there. I just stood there repeating, how could you over and over the other guy left, but not until after Paul had paid him for his services. Actually paid him. I couldn't handle it. I know a lot of men in open relationships, but that's not me. I told him he wasn't just playing with my heart, but with my health as well. He said, too late. I 
I saw my husband standing in the doorway and I could, I could see the question on his face, but I couldn't tell him. I couldn't speak at all. I talked myself hoarse, but my silence was his answer. And I watched his face just fall. I watched him realize that our lives were less now. I listened as my partner told me that he had messed around and contracted HIV and had known for months and hadn't told me. I can't imagine how painful that was for you. Thank you for sharing that. Mm, a couple of months ago, I wouldn't have time. Uh, the wound is still fresh, but time heals everything, as they say. It does, actually. It may not feel like it just now, but time and distance can be strong medicines. Think of them as good friends when you're hurting. Mm, I'm beginning to see that. I sure hope so. I'm sorry you had to go through that. But you know what the old saying is? Shit happens. Life's a bitch and then you die? No. What doesn't kill you makes you stranger. <laughs> oh, thank you for that. <laughs> That's a groaner, but thank you. <laughs> it felt good to talk about it. You were right. It helped to unload a bit. Always happy to help. Another drink? Uh, maybe just give me a minute. Nope, I'll settle up. <clears throat> I'll ring you up. Hey, wait, come back. What about you? What about me? You've been listening to me, but what about you? How are you doing? <laughs> uh, you know, I, <laughs> I've been tending this bar for many, many years now. And uh, I've heard a lot of sad stories and broken up some fights and helped some women slip out the back and into cabs and told a lot of bad jokes, maybe a few good ones. And I like to believe that I've helped some people feel better you know, maybe help a couple from stepping off a ledge. I, I don't know. But mostly I just listen and, and learn. And I try not to take their pain home with me. Sometimes I, I wonder how they're doing. Wonder if they'll ever come back in so I can hear how it all worked out. But um, nobody's ever asked me how I'm really doing. And um, actually, I feel good. I feel really good. Thank you. <laughs>